Target clear the AQA computer science A level skeleton code 2025. We are doing another task. We're doing the next task. So one of the issues with the game is that if you type, okay, we'd have to do a valid one first, right? But what have I got? 11, 6 plus, 6 plus 5 is 11, right? So if I were to go um, 6 plus 5, no, if I were to go 6 plus Five, which is nicer, right? It just looks nicer when you put, by the way, that's pep eight, when you put spaces around operators. Pep is a proposition, uh, Python improvement proposal. It's kind of a recommendation for code style. And my camera's moved here, actually, just up. Okay, so, yeah, so if I do this, I should catch six, six plus five, 11. I should shoot this one, but I don't because it's not a valid expression because of the space, of the white space. White space is spaces, of course, but also tabs, um, anything that is, does, it's not displayed as a character, but is a character in ASCII and in strings. So this is in the uh, Wikibooks task number three. So I'm going to take this and go to my by the way, I'm, I'm pushing this to my GitHub um, repo. I'll put some links and explain. Maybe I'll make a video actually about the repository so you can know where to find it. Um, this would be task two, which is the first one, third one we're doing, obviously, which is this. Modify the program to expression with white spaces. Spaces are accepted. Save that. Uh, I'm going to take my original and it's just like a quick duplicate, uh, but like this t2.py here we go right so this is where you uh, you don't really have you don't have access to the internet during the exam so you can't look at the python documentation which is a shame because there's like a strip there's a strip uh, method for strings so it's just like right fire up a python interpreter and zoom in a bit on it can i even pluck it out i'm not gonna pluck it out uh, Move the sidebar. So we're looking here, right? So if I do a no, that's strange. So if I do a Oof, I don't know what it is, uh, hello with some trailing white space dot L strip left. Oh, this right strip, right? Because it's R strip. Boom. That's stripped it to the right. I don't know if there's just a strip. There's a strip for the middle, presumably which will strip all of them. So does it work like one space, two space, three space dot strip? Uh, doesn't quite work like that. Right, we we can do it the hard way. Uh, there is a, a Python function for this, but ultimately, you know, they support four languages. And to be fair, the marks, right? Like the, the mark scheme is going to be like, there's a variable, there's an iteration. We're looking for kind of, you know, elements of the expected of what the form of an expected answer could take so if you just do one pass if you just look you do like dot sorted or dot sort of those kind of cool built-in python function that does a lot of that stuff that you do often you kind of don't get the opportunity to score marks which is unfortunate so um where is our user input taken it is is it is here um so in here we want to do something like this Can call this raw raw user input, and my user input is equal to initialize it as the empty string, and then for character we're doing character by character in the raw user input, I will um, if c is not equal to the space character. Oops, need colon here. Then if that's the case, I will append to user input. Oh, it doesn't know it's, it's, it's a list, so uh, yeah. No, we can't append, it's a string. Um, so we'll have to do our... becomes equal to user input itself. to which we concatenate the character. Otherwise, else continue, if you will, but like there's no need to do that because we're just doing this, right? Um, and then this becomes this. I'm going to put a breakpoint here and so I can look at what 
shape it takes. Save it and debug it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's find a Python debugger. Okay. So if I do, uh, can I do a valid? It doesn't matter. If I do like seven plus nine, I hit the breakpoint. My variables are here. The raw user input is has the spaces, whereas the user input has got nothing. Oh, oh, because yeah, because we're just about to do it, right? So if I continue, then we're building the user input the is seven. Then I skip over the space and I build the plus nine and uh oh. Well, I mean, if 7 plus 9 is a valid one, but I've got 7 plus 7. Let's do this again. Okay, so I don't need... Oh, can I, I'm just going to watch uh, user input. So when I use would a was expression, watch expression is going to put break, stop the code whenever it changes. But to be fair, I had put a breakpoint anytime it changes, but we can see it being built much, much, much better than having to track this. And we'll keep the raw user input in sight. All right, let's go. Uh, okay, let's kind of maybe do it again. Oh, is it, is it going to keep my watch? Yeah, okay, available. Uh, anything else to play a random game? I have... Uh, four times one, right? Uh, so one multiply four. Oh, it's taken it. Uh, it's uh, yeah. I need, I, maybe I still need some breakpoints. <laughs> Put a breakpoint here at the end. No, here before this print. Um, so this has this has accepted it. I mean, we know that it works, right? But like for the sake of argument, well, okay, we don't need. Let's see how it's built. Um, six times seven, forty-two. Boom! Breakpoint hit, and then right, my raw input was six times seven, and this is six times seven. So although we could use one of the strip built-in functions, our if and that instance is select for compare, compare against select. It's fairly kind of straightforward. I think a couple of lines of code to strip the spaces. It's not going to handle tabs and carriage returns or whatever. We just want spaces. Um, so uh, compare with selected, and we're looking at this. Right, I've removed the well, I've changed this to kind of rename it, and then my user input I build by adding essentially anything there. Now, if you want to make it, if you want to make it Pythonic uh, without using a built-in function, if you want to flex a little bit on the Python front, you could do something like user input is equal to. Um, no, maybe maybe you can't do it for maybe you can't do it for strings actually. Can I have a string compression? So if I do this, uh, let's let's make it as this. So I am building a list compression and saying it's all the characters in, it's all of the C's for C in row user input. So it's all of the characters for each character iterating over this, right? This is essentially kind of clicking this and doing that. But uh, if C is not equal to the empty string. C not S, which is all of those two conditions, right? We you effectively writing those three lines in, in one list comprehension. This is going to give us a list, so we want to be quite careful here. Uh, I'm going to put a break. Well, I've got my breakpoint in the same place. I've got my watch expression on the same thing. Let's save and debug. Random game 9, 8, 44, 49. 9 times 5 is 45, right? Uh, 9 times 5 minus 4 plus 5. 4 plus 5, 9. Yeah, okay. 5 plus 4. Boom. So my user input now is this is this list of characters. But uh, I can then do... I can then do user input. Let's stop the debugger. Becomes equal to the list, uh, right? So it, when you get a string, you can pass it to split, and that will return a. When you get a string, you pass it to split. You can s specify which character to split by. By default, it will do space. It will return, which I could have done here, to be fair. You end up like this. 
validation ends up being kind of C split. Uh, sorry, row user input dot split. Um, still, now I've showed you a list comprehension, which you know by the end of year 13, it's not it's not on the it's obviously not on the curriculum. But if you're interested in coding in Python, if you've done your project, if you've done your project in Python, you sh surely you know about list comprehensions, right? In that case, I'm just going to join them. So the opposite of split is join, and just like in split, you pass as an argument the character you split by. In here, it becomes a method. This is a bit subtle, right? So like this, you use the character that you want to use to join. So if you wanted to do CSVs, you would use that. But we want no character, no separator character, and you want to join the... We want to join this list user input. Right, and then run and debug again. Any random game, what do I have? 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 5, 5, 5 times 1. 1 multiply. Let's put like a whole bunch of space it is. User input is ha huh. Oh list user input list user input. Okay, I may I may have messed up my list comprehension here because the like, list user input is like literally has got all of the spaces in. Wish I could see it, right? That which shouldn't be the case. Uh I think that's the syntax, but maybe yeah, no, and you need an else. Would that be better? <laughs> it's it's you know trial and error, it's empirical to a large degree. Eleven minutes. Okay, running debug. Yeah, there's no else in those uh, in those list compis there. Okay, well then, then let's kind of do uh Split will take the separator, the default value will split on any white space, so that's that's what we want. So split it on white space and rejoin it without white space. Uh, random game, da da da. I should actually use the training one because that way it won't be like, uh, we don't need, it doesn't need to be valid, isn't it? Space space, two plus four. Space space. Boom. Right, so my list user input is only two plus four. When my row user input had, I'd like the whole string, and my user input is now just this. And with that, I have been able to. Um, I should have kept this one because the several version. I don't know which one I'll I'll put in. Um, what you could also do, right? Well, whilst you're here now, what you could also do is the user input because this. Let's replace this by what it is, which is that. But then if we replace this by what it is, which is that. That's a bit cheeky, but I think that should uh, kind of, uh, cheeky, it's kind of like quite uh, pretentiously biphonic and, and sort of like, yeah, op not obfuscated, the, the opposite of it. Like, well, it's obfuscated in the way that it's meant kind of like streamlined as much as possible to do at the detriment of legibility of the code. Um, the point is that if there's a mark for, we expect there is an iteration, then you kind of that, although they, they might ac accept the split and join. Um, always play it safe. Don't, it's like in live, right? Like don't, don't kind of, you know, showcase how clever you are too often. Seven, multiply one. Are we not doing breakpoints anymore? Obviously I forgot to breakpoint, that's the problem. Uh, but it worked, right? Clear the clear the sevens, which had two of them. Uh, three times five. Boom! User input is three times five, right? So like you just literally put the input is split by white space, and then the resulting list is joined with no separator, and then that's put into the user input variable. What what is oh right it gives you all of those states is that is that what's going on what's this this is new okay uh, anyway that was uh, I'm just gonna flick fade no swipe or fade fade right that was the um, task two which is the third one we're doing about being able to accept expressions that contain white space I'll see you very shortly for the next one. <laughs>